Alaska here from Ascension Skinny Pig Rescue and I'm here with two ladies and they just came in today so and we noticed something we always do like a few tests when the pigs come in we give them a health check and we prod them and poke them and figure out something's uh, not quite how it should be and we noticed something about this little girl so I'm gonna show you I'm gonna demonstrate so how do you know if your guinea pig is deaf that is a really good question because you know what they are masters masters in in hiding it because I'll say you listen your your guinea pig is, is is deaf and they go no way they hear me coming and they're always like running up to the cage and standing there and, and begging for treats but what it is is one once that sense goes the other senses take over so they become super sensitive to vibrations in the air um, you know sound does carry a certain vibration which they might be able to pick up on it is all oh, it, it's always blows me away how well they are able to mask a disability even though for guinea pigs this is not a disability they totally don't even know they're different from another guinea pig they don't know any different and they're totally fine um, but so this is her and her little girly friend and would you like a little snack because I brought a little snack let's have a little snacky here we both have a little snack now the there is a very easy simple test to do one is the clap test and what you're looking for is the movement of the ears you want to see that they move their little ears because that is an indication of a high-pitched sound being registered okay that's why guinea pigs are not very good with a lot of sound loud sounds because they often will, will respond to that I mean how many times have you had your phone go off uh, because there's a text that came in and your guinea pig is vibrating to your phone it's saying Brr, doing that right and happens a lot at least to some people um, so yeah Let's have a look. So what we like to do is we like to produce a high pitched sound or a clap can also do it. So I just wanted them to just sit here, stand here quietly while I do the clap and I want to do it from behind so that you can see. Now we want to watch because she's not and she is, is deaf. So they can't see me. Now we saw her respond she kind of ducked a little bit right we saw her respond and not her so that was quite obvious right Jules yeah okay so now let's try and you're gonna get lots and lots of snacks okay now we're gonna try this one which is actually quite a high-pitched sound that most guinea pigs will will hear and respond to so you stay here, you're being a such a good girls. So we're gonna do it again from here. There. That was a perfect and demonstration. And you saw that she did exactly what was expected, which was kind of the ear movement, the kind of like this, whereas this one did not move at all, didn't move a muscle and didn't hear it. So, okay, you know, here, you deserve it. What's his next, here, here, here. What's his next, what's his next? <laughs> Um, but yeah, again, it doesn't really mean anything. It really doesn't mean anything. Now, why is she deaf? That is a good question. Why is she deaf? So, you would think my first thought would be that there is something going on in her head and in her middle ears that has caused, um, that it was maybe a bad infection in one or both her middle ears or her bulla that caused it to grow over with calcium and that's what happens it grows calcium along the sides to kind of protect from the invading bacteria now that would make sure that she's going to be deaf um, and we see this a lot in fact I am due to write a nice big article about this exact uh, phenomenon the um, calcified bullet syndrome um, and I'm almost sure if we took an x-ray of her head that we are going to see that there is some calcification on her bulla, whereas they won't be there because she can hear. 
So we don't have an x-ray machine today. I would love to show you and do an x-ray and then see, show you the results. But this is one of the symptoms of the calcified bullet. They often are not born this way. They often get it from a infection that was either left untreated for too long, uh, then they did get antibiotics, but maybe, you know, for two weeks, but then it started again in a week. And I mean, sometimes it's, the, it's a chronic upper respiratory that can cause all these problems, okay? So again, I am do an article about it. I am writing a paper about it. Um, but yeah, this is one of the symptoms. I honest to God, I can't think of anything else that would have caused it. So, but this is a good test to see if your guinea pig is deaf. If you want to know if your guinea pig is blind as well, because often that too is a symptom. It goes hand in hand, blindness and deafness. Did we do a blindness test on her? We don't believe she's blind or fully blind. Okay, we think because she's the other thing is, is that she's deaf. not a typical bull pig where usually they have a head tilt and she does not have that now that can develop in a later stage but it doesn't have to it can just stay the way it is and it doesn't get any further sometimes they do kind of gradually develop more symptoms more symptoms more symptoms um, but usually at this age if she is still good and she's just has a blindness I think she will just stay like this and not show any of the other symptoms which is really good news so there I hope that was that was helpful guys and thank you ladies you were beautiful you did a great job good job girl okay thank you so much sauce thank you guys